So this video is on how to install, how to download and install uh, CentOS 7. Uh, minimal install, of course. I will install it on VMware ESXi 6.7. So, create a new VM. Next, give it a name. I'm gonna name it, um, gun, sorry, gun controller. Nope. It's Linux. Send to a 764-bit. Next. I'm gonna give it um, eight virtual CPUs. Um, probably 16 gig. I'm gonna give it 25 gig of storage. And I want to give it also two network adapters. Because I'm using this uh, this node for OpenStack. Okay, two adapters and two different networks. Next, oh, back. Sorry about that. We need to select the ISO. Okay, I need to upload it. Send to us open. Let's upload. So it has been successfully uploaded to the ASXI data store. Now just select it and press next. Review what you have configured. Okay. Cool. Finish. Now just power it on. And let's see. This would be better. Maybe. Okay, so we are installing actually. Press enter. Okay, this is the system D. Okay, so English, continue. Mm. Software selection, there is nothing I believe because it's a minimal installation. So yeah, it's minimal install, so there is nothing. Okay. I'm gonna have automatic partitioning, just just one partition. Begin installation. One. Done.
I don't care, too short. This is a minimal installation because I am using it as a server. So if you want the GUI and all the desktop stuff, then you would probably need to install um, the complete CentOS 7, which is about 4 gig, by the way. Actually, this one. So people would, would normally install this one unless they want to use CentOS as just a golden image for some server deployment. Okay, so it took about 8 to 10 minutes. I didn't count. Reboot. Cool. So the interfaces have no IP addresses. I think I did not configure networking when I was installing. So again, IP. Not yet. DH client. Okay, well, I think I did put both interfaces on the same network. I'm, I wasn't supposed to do so. So I'm going to change that. Anyways, the, um, the CentOS is up and running. Thank you.